adventures. It takes us a trip to Rockford, but we're going to explore Hall Church in Elm Park and look around the area and show you what there is and some history things and everything. It's going to be an exciting day, it's going to be an interesting day. It's sort of the outskirts of Rockford and what's beyond. What we're doing is we're going to go to the model shop first. We need to get some grass for the train set. And uh, let's make our way on the bus. We're making our way to um, Romeo Corner, go to the model shop first, please get some grass, because there's a patch that's missing. And then we'll make our way into Hall Church, Jen Elm Park, we just show you the areas. Since this is October, there'll be a twisted theme to sort of take the interesting tales and spookiness along the way, because this is what October's about, a bit of interest still. Make our way around the old corner, long into Horn Church Way. It's an interesting fact to tell you. This building here, that used to be Blockbusters. Not, no longer more. That's what the building is called now. Yeah, at least the building is still here. Um, it sells uh, VHS DVDs, rental time. But now, it's Dreams. It's HSL, looks of it, the company now. And Dreams Specialist, all in one store. It used to be a Blockbusters. We're making our way along here and uh, working our way into the town. It shouldn't be too far from the town because it's quite nearby anyway. We'll try and find some interesting things along the way to tell you a few fun facts. A few fun facts about Holy Cross Horn Church. Just to let you know, just here, as in about round about there, there used to be a sighting of the sort of figure of Victorian outfit man a, a, a little man just walking across the green ghost figure just walking across here mysteriously like we should go and check it out actually I won't come out at night it'd be quite spooky wouldn't it but yeah it was spotted here October Friday the 13th um quite a few uh, quite a few years going back um spotted crying across the green it was sort of, sort of coming from there coming from here and walking across and going that direction into the bushes. Yeah, it looks like it's boarded up. But it looks like you can hide a place out. It's not even that open. Got a lot of borders everywhere. But yeah, you get spookies going on here. This is a random place in the middle of nowhere. Sort of the main road is down there. It comes at the back across down there. But yeah, it's quite interesting. I just showed a point where the uh, ghost actually disappeared um, into the wilderness. It's sort of here. Oh, there's a rabbit hole there. Randomly. <laughs> yeah, the ghost sort of just appeared that direction. But yeah, it's nice to see this place. Shame it's boarded up, isn't it? Looks interesting. It's a nice bit of building. Wow. Very countryside. You can see the path is blocked off. There's private use. Over here. There's a house that's up there now. But yeah, it's a bit rough around here. But yeah, it's here. It's actually here. Spookiness across that green. Can you imagine seeing that? Seeing it at night. But trying to find a picture of that on the internet, see if anybody's uh, seen it. But yeah, making our way into Hong Church, going that way down now. And we're going to get a random modern buildings with new buildings. There's a building just over there, just about there, as you can see, just there that was here when the ghost sighting was about but the other building wasn't we're making our way into Horn Church I'm sure we're in Horn Church and we have signs that we are in Horn Church because there'd be loads of shops there's like a town out of the way it's a prompt to middle nowhere really it's a town it's a nice town 
I see a few shops at the moment, so we must be getting quite close. So yeah, it must be going quite good all together. To see them not far. We're getting some shops along the way here. Yeah. This is a few of Essex sort of out of the way. Out of the way from the main town of Bromford. Um, as you can see all the shops along here. Out of the way. Essex Sea Shops. But yeah, we're out of the way. Hall Church is quite a way. I just realised where we are now. Because we've got to get to a big green area. Out of the way. Oh, these modern houses. It's been a while since I've been up here. So I can give you an idea what's changed and what. As I don't remember this been here. So it's quite new. I haven't been here a while, but it goes to show you how long I've been here, isn't it? Just got told about an interesting haunted place to check out, and I will be checking it out. Not today, but I will be checking it out later this month. So stay tuned for that one. There's like a manor house that's haunted. I'll do some research on that first before we actually go there, because it sounds really cool to visit. But now we're still on our tour, and uh, just show you where I am. Oh, we've got a phone mask, it spoils everything, doesn't it? We've got some more shops here. Yeah, I like how they're done. They're random. It's got a random petrol station at the corner. It spoils it a little bit. It looks nice until you see that, doesn't it, really? We're venturing around the corner now. And uh, getting countryfied now. Look at this a bit. Yeah, it's interesting. Got a nice little pub on the corner there. Wow, that's really nice here. Very countryfied. We've got to get to Hornchurch yet. I'm assuming we are in Hornchurch, but we're getting there. The road now, we just crossed here, over there, and we've got a nice pub over there. A nice pub. I think, I'm assuming it's nice in the summer. I don't think these places existed. Oh, I should come and visit them, shouldn't I, really? I'll come next summer. I've got to do it, right? Oh, it's called the Harrow. Oh, it's a nice little pub. Uh, we're venturing through this way. I like how the buildings are put, positioned. The really Essex homes are pretty nice. I like them. They're very countryside looking. I really like them. Despite their flats, they're really nice. But yeah, that's really nice, that. That's a nice picturesque... Picture postcard, you could say. Picture postcard. By the way, I haven't been posting to Instagram my pictures yet. I've been posting to my Facebook page. Because um, I used to have the app to do that. Just can't be bothered at the moment. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I will send a link down below so you won't forget that. I'm, I'm, I'm making my way. We're in Hornchurch. This is Hornchurch Road now. So I presume we're in Hornchurch. And we're working our way down so we can get there. It's, st it's still a little bit of a walk. But yeah, we've got to go through all this countryside before we get there. There's a few things I need to tell you as we get further down. This area I'm walking in it used to be all forest, nothing but forest. It used to be part of a uh, Epin Forest and we used to venture this far, surprisingly. Uh, but I still a few trees and rain. I just want to show you how old these trees are actually are because not, not many people realise this. The trunks are quite big. There's a few of them around here like this. It goes to show you how long these trees have been here before all these buildings were here. As you can see, all the trees are scattered everywhere. And you know, it used to be a forest here, so you've got leftovers from a forest, you could say. But it's nice to know that the trees have been here a while. And they've got tall enough, you think. <laughs> Some here have been here longer, because you see the size of the trunks. But yeah, it's pretty cool. But yeah. I don't know how they kept them here. They haven't got rid of them. They've actually stayed. It's interesting, it's, it's, it's a part of the Epping Forest that used to be. Not now, they don't call it Epping Forest anymore. Because they cut things off and they change things as they do. They don't keep it the same. And they don't want to keep the name saying Epping. They just want to keep it for the Epping area. It's funny how it works out, isn't it? Bits of the forest get changed different names. But yeah, this used to be part of the Epping Forest. A bit of interesting facts for you. And you wouldn't think it'd be this far out, would you? But it is. Church should be sort of over there somewhere. There's two new buildings going up over there. This is a park. 
This is Harrow Lodge Park. That used to be the forest, for Epping Forest, but now it's named the park. It's nice to know that though, when you think about it. And I like the little corner shot randomly on the corner. That's kind of cool. But yeah, it's pretty cool to name that. I'm making my path now. This is something I need to show you and tell you. And uh, I've got to find a point to tell you. It's a nice area, it's a nice open up area. I need to tell you in the forest. Because it's like, I need to tell you an interesting tale. Another one, another tale for you today. It's interesting, it used to be part of the forest though, isn't it? But it's not, it's just named a park now. But it's kind of cool. But I need to tell you why I'm in the forest. I need to get there a map and look where I'm going and tell you. There's a certain spot I need to tell you. The tale I'm going to tell you. I just want to show you something nice before I tell you the tale. Look how beautiful that is. I'm just focusing in for you. It's beautiful, doesn't it? The tale I need to tell you is further down. The river, the sort of water you see coming down, a little stream. Miniature version of a uh, waterfall. It's further up there, but we need to go further down and tell you, and it's right here somewhere. Follow me, I should take you there. Oh, a squirrel in there. A squirrel. I need to tell you, you hear it's quiet, can't you? It's further up here, I need to tell you. There's a section for it as well. Ah, <laughs> cool. Here we are, here it is. This is the spot. Need to work out where I'm going first. Because it's here. This spot here, just right here. If you can hear water flowing. This wasn't here before when it happened. But here, this very spot, just what's sort of round here, basically. Um, someone drowned. Yeah. It's sort of, um, people were hunting in a forest. Um, how can you explain it? Um, people that live in the forest, they're hunting animals and they were doing it illegally. And, um, they thought they captured the person doing it, but they didn't actually capture the person because the deer that they were chasing um, uh, pushed them and knocked them off course and got them into the stream. And when they fell in the stream, they fell down and went all the way this way, they drifted, sort of where it sort of happened around here somewhere. It fell in, sort of the body was floating here and then it disappeared. Yeah. I don't know, no one knows what happens to the body after that, but witnesses were mentioned it happened here. The person they were trying to capture, it didn't, they didn't capture him. They sort of failed and, and the reason I'm saying it is because every, supposed to be every October, every night, supposed to be, I'm not here at night, I'm doing a day, <laughs> anyway, but I'm just letting you know, they haunt this area, just like they, they figure just, they just scare people basically. See, so hear screams around this part, and then you think someone's falling in, but it's the ghost figurine that's there. A lot of sightings have been heard apparently. But yeah, but you normally hear them, you hear them as they go, the screams they follow, they follow it down the stream. You think there's someone there, and, and there's nothing there, it's just like a, sometimes you can't see something. Sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. But I'm going to tell you something else when I get to the bottom as well. I'm going to tell you, it's not a spooky tale. It's something interesting. Not spooky, but interesting. It's a nice view. If you get to come here during the summertime, it's a nice view of the park. There should be a nice crossing over there. It's quite shallow. It's easy to cross. It's not deep, 
some people do it, some don't. I'm going to have a look and see if the crossing is here. It should be, unless someone's blocked it off. Oh, it used to be here. There's a crossing here. Oh, there's a robin I just captured. But yeah, they're doing a new building up there, I noticed. But yeah, the bridge is about here. It's actually hidden. Literally hidden. You can see it. You can cross here, but it's hidden on the other side. It's a nice bit of park though. It's worth checking out next time I come here. The whole park itself. But I'm working my way back into Horn Church anyway. See, it's a bit of a road at the far end. But it's interesting though. I'm going to do a little walk through so you can have a look what it's like. So you can see for yourself. And I'll tell you the spooky bit that's coming up. We'll be coming back up to it again. Of course we are. We won't miss that out for you. It's October, got the, got the haunted vibes. <laughs> but as the days go along, it gradually works its way up to Halloween. And then we go to somewhere proper spooky. It's like a build up, build up theme of all the Halloween stuff that's going on. It's just a build up. So there'll be some night videos, this will be day videos. There'll be all sorts. When almost all my train sets on Monday is going to have themed of tra um, Halloween themed because the trains are ready to get done. Trains. Oh, that looks nice. Look at that. We had the place where someone drowned, didn't it? It's kind of weary. Don't know if you see anything on camera. Unusual. If you do, let me know. Put in comments below. It's nice then, isn't it? It's nice that they marked it out as well. It's a nice bit of the forest. Beautiful. I like it along here. It just looks nice for a walkthrough. Imagine you're walking with me. I like to do it on some of my videos. I like to do walkthroughs because it feels like you're part of the journey with me. And it's nice, isn't it? Peaceful. It looks good until you see a bin, right? Look, randomly. Oh, listen to that. Natural sounds. Yeah, waterfall coming up. Waterfall coming up. It's a bit smelly though, I'll give you that. Yeah, imagine they're coming here at night. Spooky. There's no lights, it's about available. <laughs> I'm walking on grass, I don't want to ruin my shoes there. It's nice that it's rained, because it's made the grass a bit green. It wasn't like that before. Right, we're not far from... The lady said I was on the shop, she said I'm about a mile and a half away from the old church, so it's more than far from you. Could I show you Elm Park area? as well as Horn Church area. Because Elm Park, so interesting to tell you about that area, is um, they've got some really cool Christmas lights up there. Come Christmas time, obviously, the house is in there. Wow. It's Enter Tour in the park, and we're making our way out and carrying on. Look at that squirrel. We've got to be very quiet. Not to distract him. That's a little shout out to random people in my vlogs now. I'll give a shout out to Sherry. I know she's watching this. I hope you're enjoying the video. 
because I only like driving my videos. There's some cool ones coming up. If you would like a shout out in some of my um, videos, just pop your message down below. I'll give you a shout out. Okay, we're now here. Near into Hornchurch. We're in Hornchurch, but near, come to the town. Park ends at the top and makes its way into the town at the top, making our way into the town. At the end of the town of Hornchurch, as it where it starts a few shops and then it gets lots of shops. Yeah. Awesome. It's looking awesome. Unless there's a big Lidl's there. A big Lidl's. A very big Lidl's. I know there's any big Lidl's here in Old Church before. Wow. Interesting. Stuff that's out the way. I might have to visit here next time to check all these shops out. And then like, next time I didn't. You know? I've got a main town here anyway. Um, yeah. It's looking good. It's a built up area. This is tough. Nice. It's okay, I suppose. But it looks nice. But the little is quite big, though, isn't it? I film what I can around the town. I can't film everything because it's a bit busy area. But I film what I can. Littles. Just there. Uh, got the towers there. Littles is just there. Whole church town is behind us. We're going to show you the fire station which is just here and then next to it the fire station you have the library which is just there and then next to it opposite side is the theatre which is just there how cool is that I will come up to a map so I show you the borough of Hapering so what it looks like it should say you are here normally doesn't it but I just want to show you the area of Havering is the borough itself, Havering, and what it covers. So it goes through Raynham, Upminster, Hornchurch, Rockford, Harold Hill. So we're up here somewhere. Yeah. Well, it's actually, we're down here now. We was up there, we come down. So it come that way. Yeah, there's the Collie Row. Wow. All well, that way. There's a journey. But yeah, this is Haverin. You see the map, it's quite big. It's pretty cool. But here's the library, and here's the uh, theatre. Gonna go there in a minute, need to find out what sort of plays they do. If you don't see it very often. 1958, telephone exchange, right here. I don't know what it is now, but yeah, I can't believe it. Wow, something so old. We're off to the theatre to check. We've got from the library, we've got some information. Got some cool local information. Got a lot of reading to do. But we're going to go to the theatre and see what sort of uh, plays they do and stuff. See the theatres here. Looks really good actually, it's quite big inside. It's been a while since I've been here. One of them, it's been really a long time. But yeah. Got my entrance to the main front. Queen's Theatre. Supported by the Borough of Havering. It's still got the old fashioned style entrance. He hasn't changed somewhat. I'm making my way inside and having a look. I fear and I'm coming across all these posters. And it's pretty cool. All the plays that have been here. I've seen a few of those, but I can't remember which ones. It's been a while. Wow. Inside the fear, I've got like an on-stage thing when things happen. Entertainment. Behind me is a bar. It's just like nice and it's really nice inside. They're doing it up somewhat, which is really cool. It's really nice in there, no? Really chilled out. Good in there. A little chat with the uh, staff and early chat with the uh, ones in church. And I've got some information, Queen's Theatre. Got things that go, lots of stuff that happens here. Yeah? I'm surprised. You can book it online, you can book it on the phone, or you can book it here, basically, which is really cool. And they've got like, a guide of a map. I'll show some few pictures at the end of this video, so I'll show you what I mean. I just swapped sides, I was going the opposite way by accident. I came up that way and I came around that way, I was going that way, I should have gone that way. That's the way I got to go. Passing Queen's Theatre now. I'm going to leave the theatre alone. Anyway, side of the road, 
to a theatre. We have Falklands Art and Centre. It's an art centre to do with art. Sounds interesting, all art and everything. Do you want to have a look in there and have a look at what it's like? It's class 3.15 here at Emerson Park. I'll tell you a few facts about Emerson Park when I get to the bottom. It's at Emerson Park. I just want to tell you a few fun facts before we carry on um, up the road. Um, Emerson Park is a one station. There's only three stops. Romford, Emerson Park and then Upminster and that's it. That's the only stations there are. It's like an up and down line. It's not very regular service. It's like every wait you have to wait for the train to come back. But here, here at Emerson Park, it's only a one-way system. I have a one train going one way and come back the other way. So if you missed it, it's a wait. Station with only well, well, a right train line with only three stations. So if you miss it, you miss it. It's the class 315 that comes down here. It's quite an old stock. It used to be on the um, Shentfield line. Sometimes it runs on that one. And sometimes it has the class 345. But yeah, it's an old Victorian station. It's quite an old one there. that or that. But it's a nice, quiet, out of the way little station here at Emerson Park. So make sure you don't miss the train. You have to work out your times of trains before you get it. That's here, literally in Emerson Park. We end our journey here until we meet Paul, my cousin. It's Paul. Hello, you are. Right? Yeah, that's uh, he's, that's Trevor's brother. Yeah. The better brother, because he's a West Ham fan. Remember that. When you're in the store, you're on a roll. You're on a roll. You find chocolate. You're on a roll. You can eat a pillow. Freaking hell! Hazel will be pleased with that. Personal. It's a bit personal. Not personal, a bit personal. That's a fairy that is, put on a Christmas tree. Smell nice. Something for your telly. Get a good reception, I reckon. Three in one reception. Aisles of all the nuts on. These are the nutty aisles. That's why no one's going down them. No nutty people here. In Paul's flat. It's a heaven sign, by the way. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's going to be retarded. But yeah. <laughs> this is Paul's flat, it's quite nice. Oh, you've got a this is what Hazy has on his fridge. I don't even know. Show me around your fridge. Chocolate? you got chocolate in your fridge? Yeah, chocolate. Yeah, quality stream. That's quality. It quite it's West Ham versus Mural, the only way to get the aggression out. One brother versus another. Come on! <laughs> Come on! Mill yeah. and West Ham playing FIFA. Trevor's playing FIFA. With Paul's playing FIFA. They're playing on the PlayStation, aren't they? Come on, mate, come on. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Concentration. Yeah. Concentration right there. Zoom in, zoom in. Look at the really concentration on the game. Concentration, concentration. Look at that concentration on FIFA. The danger, the danger. One one, one one. Would it be me or would it be West Ham? My Orlando. Yeah. Just knock that in, eh? <coughs> oh. No, no. It's tight now, it's too tight. What are you dancing for? <laughs> dancing. Oh! Well, you mustn't mess it up, eh, right? You mustn't mess it up. Yes. Come on, Alan. Oh, it's tight, it's tight. Should we know if you missed this? Look at Trevor's face. 
Oh no! Sun death in it. Sun death. Why is it penny? Oh. Come on, Fanzi Oh, you mustn't mess it up, you know that, right? Oh! Look at their faces, look! <laughs> the concentration! <laughs> <laughs> oh yes it's over yes me and you came next shall we see what happens then never mind <laughs> well done Paul Night time at Paul's. Oh, come on. Night time. Until next time, guys. Until next time.